I had not come out of the slump. It, it had been a rough period. And um, getting older naturally, I thought about, uh, as I say, producing. And I wanted to uh, package, and I wanted to become a part of... Uh, I, did, I never wanted to direct, but I... Um, so I returned to the theater, and I did Agnes for God for about six months, seven months, something like that. And the reason that, that I, I, I mention that is because, once again, it was a situation that had a white cast. And um, when I was called, I went to see the play a couple of occasions when I was called to do what we intended to do was not change it at all, and we didn't. Not one word of it was changed. Uh, Dr. Livingston. So, now at the close of, of Agnes of God, I was at home trying to recoup because I don't know if you saw Agnes of God, but Dr. Livingston never leaves the stage for two and a half, almost three hours. And um, she smokes throughout the entire first act. Uh, so I was at home trying to recoup from that, and I discovered something was happening to television again called nighttime soaps. And I s began to watch these absolutely ridiculous, wonderfully entertaining situations with people who were billionaires today and <laughs> beggars the next day and someone who owned a vineyard that, and then the next day, it was just, so I became very involved with Dynasty. I thought, if this isn't the biggest hoot I've ever seen, and the world is loving it, we needed it at that time. What was this, Reagan? Was this the Reagan era? So this was um, the fallout that Reagan had tried to prepare us for. Everyone was elegant. Everyone was rich. Everyone was uh, traveling all over the world. And I said, that's what I want to do. That's what I need to do. First, I called um, uh, Aaron Spelling. And I spoke to someone who was involved with Aaron and, and Dynasty. And I said that I felt that they'd done everything they could possibly do except integrate the show. I mean, they'd left no stone unturned. Everything had been dealt with, homosexuality. I mean, anything they had dealt with. She said that she would get back to me. And in the meantime, I was called by Streisand because of, uh, I think it was called uh, The Globes. What was it? The Globes, right? And uh, so I flew into L.A. to do The Globes. Once again, preparation, preparation, preparation. We worked forever on how she would look. I was creating a dynasty character in my head. And when I walked on stage, Aaron says that he looked around and he said to everybody, she looks like Dynasty. So later that evening, I learned where Aaron was and I learned that he was having a private party. And I said, but Mr. Spelling is expecting me. They went in and they said, Mr. Spelling, Miss Carol is here. And he said, please tell her to come in. So we all went in. I said, Aaron, I'm only in town overnight. You know, I really have to leave to go back to New York. I don't have much time, and I'm dying to come to this place. And he said, come in, come in. I was there for a very short period of time. And as I was leaving, he said, how long are you going to be in town? And I said, well, it depends on you. A lot depends on you. And he said, I think I want to discuss this with some people, and I'd like you to come over and meet everyone. And he took me over. I met Richard Shapiro. and Esther Shapiro, and Linda, and Joan, and John. And John, who has always been really, well, he was, he said, you know, if you come on our show, if this happens, you'll be the only one on the show that's been nominated for an Academy Award. I knew that he knew that Aaron heard that. And so, um, I went home, and the phone rang one day. He said, uh, you're on Dynasty. It was decided this afternoon. 
Elaine Rich, who was the producer, <clears throat> liked the idea of my being a bitch. And I, I said, I think the, the most important thing for us to remember is write for a white male, and you'll have it. You'll have the character. Don't, don't try to write for what you think I am. Write for a white man who wants to be wealthy and powerful. And that's the way we found Dominique Devereaux. Aaron uh, is uh, the master of television. Aaron has uh, done everything. He's done drama, film, uh, soaps. He's done everything on television. He understands the way Paul McCartney understands how to keep the music fresh for each generation. Aaron Spelling understands where television is going and, uh, and how to encapsulate what is needed at that time. That's a, that's a special kind of, kind of gift that has to do primarily with his, his, uh, his connectedness to, not film, but television. He's a genius. First of all, we were a group of people who had had long careers, and uh, we understood the value of of what was happening in our lives at this time. What uh, what a strange phenomenon these nighttime soaps were, still are, and um, we were enjoying being a part of it. There was nothing nothing heavy about it. It was really always a, a, a put on. So the show having that kind of international success, I mean, the world responded to Dynasty. It was uh, impossible for me to go to London or Paris or without or, or Rome without this recognition about this television show. So, yes, it was a wonderful experience.